adventure walk of the day, Ensign Peak. And uh, those that are from this area know this one pretty well. It's a hot day on this Labor Day. So we're gonna follow this trail here. As you can see, they've made it so you have steps to go up. And pretty quick here, we should have a, an interesting view of what it looks like from up here. Here's a quick view of the valley. All right, still huffing. This was pretty damn hard. Labor Day, I'm giving labor on this Labor Day. All right, we're almost there. I told myself, nothing's gonna stop me on this hike. Not no 90 degree weather, not no rubbery legs. You will not puss out. Make our way through these windy rocks. Alright, so here it is, Jensen Peak, we made it to the top. Now let's give you the viewer a shimmering view. See the capital down there, you see the highway, and way out there where I'm pointing to the west is the Great Salt Lake. Was it worth it, they asked, to come up here? Oh, definitely, definitely. Well, let's take a look at the uh, peak. Here it is, Ensign Peak. There you go. If you want to pause it and read it, you will. I won't bore you and read it out loud. But it has something to do with 1847 after the Mormon pioneers entered the valley. Brigham Young and party climbed to this point. With the aid of field glasses, made a careful survey of the mountains, canyons, and streams. All right, this is the other side of the mountains. As you can see, there's some kind of radio towers up there. Uh, there's some bald mountains. And uh, here's the thing that was erected. No pun intended. Atop old Ensign Peak. See that? Yes, yes. Willpower! I'm the only one up here. Alright, so that was old Ensign Peak. It's a pretty steep hill to walk down. Lots of loose gravel. So I best walk down it slow instead of fall or roll down it slow. Hence the peak.